Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a GV80 2022, a 2.5 liter turbo. Um, customer complaint is there's no brakes above 10 kilometers per hour. Um, this vehicle is a rental vehicle, so I just went for a drive quick in the building. Um, I felt weird on applying the brakes, so I just came back. To the shop and I think I got a code for the ABS which is uh, motor encoder fault so let's go back there and see if we still have that so I ordered a new ABS module so today we'll be replacing the ABS module okay so there's no codes right now um, let me see here if I can find something um, I think that's about it. Let's see. Let's see if it will detect from other modules. My last time when I scanned this vehicle, I got a motor encoder fault, which is on the ABS module itself. Okay, so we don't have any codes right now. Maybe I, I forgot about if I deleted the code. So um, let's see if it's just a straightforward replacement on this vehicle. Um, and yeah, before that, before we go to the under the hood, we're going to remove our mounting nuts here on the brake pedal. And one more thing. If let's say you have an abs module replacement i less uh, i learned my lessons already about this um if you can back up that um, software if there's an option that'd be great if not because usually in here um there should be an backup and input so as you can see here we cannot see anything so i guess we just straight replacement and we're gonna just go to the process on recalibrating or updating our new module so before um, let's say I think I made a Sonata video um, it was a big problem because the car doesn't even know what module is in there right so it's better if there's an option to back up the software from the old module you should do that first and always refer to your service manual if you know to see to make sure that what all the process needed to replace a component so let's go under the dash and let's see if we can remove all the stuff there before we go to the under the hood all right guys so before we can access to our mounting nuts in there at the brake pedal um we have to remove this lower brush pad panel and our knee airbag so here's our knee airbag there and we can fully see our brake pedal or the abs mounting nuts the four nuts there so let's see um we can start removing it so what we're gonna be removing is the one here i know the lightning is bad there's not much room here so let's go to the top first so it's a 12 mm you can use 12 mm socket oh that's tight let me grab a longer ratchet the smaller ratchet it's free so I'm just taking out the farther top left in there where is it okay it's still there
that's one out and then I'm just gonna go through all the tree Okay, that's the last one next will be is we're gonna remove this safety pin here or the lock pin for a brake pedal so just move the lock down here downward and you can pull it and then you can just push that pin out so now on uh, on the vehicle interior side everything should be free now so we're gonna go to under the hood and let's locate our abs module and we're gonna start removing our lines so our abs module is located on the left hand side of our engine compartment so our reservoir is here at the bottom is our um the module itself so I think I have to remove all these trim pieces here and then you can fully see the module itself. So we can see our ABS module fully right now. Um, I think we're gonna remove this whole assembly with the reservoir itself. So we're gonna remove in this connector first. And I think what we have is we have only four lines that's attached to this module, so which is good. How do you remove this connector? So I'll just remove this connector first. Carry on then. Okay. Inspect your female connector and also our reservoir sensor here. How do you remove this? What? Oh. How do you remove this guy? Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna put this aside for now. So we have more room there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna shove some rugs in there. some rags there and the size of our brake line here is 11 mm so and also if you're first time doing this um, I would recommend if you can just put marking but um, you can't really interchange them because as you can see all our lines are preformed 
so you won't go to another slot or um, what do you call that location. So I'm just gonna go through all these four lines and I believe there's another big connector at the bottom. We're gonna remove that later. So I'll, ju I'll just do these four lines for now. Okay, so that's four lines out. Um, I know sometimes this kind of job is just you just have to be, be patient because the lines are just no room there, and you know it's. Let's see if I can move this guy here. Is something still stuck, or is it my wire? You know what? Let me remove that big harness there at the bottom and the question is how do you remove that that's the question okay that's good so pop up the yellow cover or the yellow tub and the thing will just come out that's good I have to struggle for that now the thing is is there any other component attached to this module why is it not coming out now well, let me check the inside part I don't know what's going on there so as I can see at the inside of the car, okay, that's good. It just got stuck on that hole of the stud. So just have to put this brake lens aside. Just be careful not to <laughs> go crazy on bending them. That's 
heavy. Whoa. Oh, come on, man. Don't tell me I have to remove this bar here. I think so. I think I have to remove this bar. Uh, okay. So, um, I have to remove our wiper cowl assembly, our wiper arm, um, and remove. There's a bar here. So, I'm gonna show you that later. So, let me just remove this quick. Right now, I'm just removing this push in tabs here for our cow. Then, we're gonna remove our wiper arm assembly. Fourteen millimeter. Oh no! Oh, that's tight. I'm just removing this passenger side. It's not good. Okay, so now I guess I can remove this cowl assembly itself. Oh man. What's going on right now is I don't know if I need to remove this wiper assembly.
Yeah, I think. Oh man, this is garbage. Um, I think we're gonna remove this arm itself or the assembly. So 10 millimeter. Because our bolt there is hiding behind this assembly. Okay, I think that's about it. So now I can access this 12 millimeter here. This is what I'm talking, the bar here. Okay, so right now, should be able to remove this easily now. Because I remove a lot of stuff already. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. Oh, this is the one that fell. So this small connector here uh, looks like that's our uh, big cable for our motor for the ABS. Um, yeah. So just pop out the yellow one, and it will just come out on the side. So next will be we're gonna grab our new part. Let's transfer our reservoir and put everything back together.